hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you so so much for tuning into this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your continuous support and also if you are new to the channel you're very much welcome please do the right thing by clicking on that red subscription button down below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you are the first one to get notified whenever new videos are uploaded so guys in this video i'll be looking at episode 11 of the real houses of devon season 2 guys this series has been so interesting and viewers couldn't even stop talking about it on social media so from the episode 10 lassie had invited the ladies to her traditional ceremony umemolo which is a coming of age of the maidens the ladies looked stunning in their traditional attires when they showed up we further saw Anne inviting the ladies to sun city at the same event on a trip the ladies were interested and looking forward to that. Who else wouldn't be excited to go to Sun City? Even us, the viewers, were so happy for that because we know it is where, at Sun City where we see all the drama. So if you haven't watched this, uh, previous episodes, I'll do link them in the description box down below so you can go check them out. So without further ado, let's get it to episode 11. So Anne, Sorisha and Jojo are again flying out to Sun City like before because the girls can afford, right? Was just hoping there won't be any drama as we saw in episode 8 regarding the private plane. But nonetheless, it seems that this time around, Sorisha had told the ladies that they were flying and had shared the invoice so that the ladies can share the cost and allegedly only Jojo and Anne had responded to that. Hence, the three flew together. And then so Sorisha was wondering how the other ladies were traveling with and she was asking the girls. Apparently Mabusi was also invited and Sorisha insists that Mabusi should be added on their chat group, right? And then on another scene, the three ladies arrive at Sun City well welcomed by the uh, reception there and the place is really amazing guys. The palace was really amazing and if you can afford, I will recommend you check it out. Then Anne did a good job, guys, there. She also give, gave the ladies uh, some presents, some, some baskets with some presents there. And it was really good to see. Even the interior of the rooms of the ladies was really uh, giving. So Nongu and Tobile arrived together. They really in a good mood. Their rooms were so amazing. They got their gifts and that was cool of Anne. Kudos to uh, Anne, guys. This time around, she really gave the ladies their best of time. So Mabosi, Lakonko and Londi also arrived together. The ladies were happy. Nice gesture from Anne. She really received them well. So Mabusi tells Lakonko and invited her through a WhatsApp SMS when the two girls had their conversation there, which is really not that wrong. And we're happy to see that Anne and Mabusi are trying to rekindle their relationship, right? Nongu went to visit Sorisha at her room where she said her room was really bigger than hers. They start an emotional conversation, so touching to see that scene. The scene was really so emotional, guys, because their conversation was really deep. What I like about Sorisha is that she really is supportive to everyone who comes to her very emotional or needing that emotional um, comfort. She is really there to give it her all. So the next day at Sun City, Sorisha is having breakfast and she had invited Jojo over. They have a conversation and Sorisha sharing her experience from last night with Nongu. She shares her experience which she allegedly shares um, the reasons why she started having tattoos 
We know that Jojo had some tattoos which are very adorable to her to see on her and she allegedly shares the reasons why she started allegedly having those tattoos. So guys, this trip really made these ladies share their experiences and try to be more vulnerable because Sorisha also shared some stuff with Jojo and she cried and was really getting emotional there and which was really um touching nungu and her outfits guys they are so adorable her body she always looks nice in whatever she puts on her body and jojo and londi meet up they clear some stuff about the jochila misunderstanding remember when jojo had her jochila and londi was supposed to perform but she ended up canceling her performance so sorisha and lassie also joined the ladies and then at the branch, Tobile and Nongu came in too, and Mabuse pitched up a little bit uh, late. The ladies think and about the gifts. Actually, uh, Latunku is the one who started the conversation thinking uh, and about the gifts they found in their rooms. Then started a conversation where Londi was asking the ladies if really they are close to Tobile, if any of them are close to Tobile. She alleges that she sees that she really distances herself from the group and Tobile alleged and says that ladies aren't giving themselves time to get to know her. That's why maybe allegedly they don't know her. Then thanks to Anne, she ended that conversation because it was really getting out of hand. Jojo and Anne are at the parlors discussing uh, allegedly petals and Jojo allegedly claims that she now knows Petals and alleged he is not who Lassie had alleged, allegedly says is. Jo asks the, uh, her or rather requests she don't tell anyone about these allegations. However, immediate, immediately after that conversation, Anne invites Lassie over and asks her about Petals. And Lassie tells or she tells her she doesn't owe anyone an explanation and she won't do that. Nonetheless, guys, Anne invites the ladies to an evening casino game. Like always, the ladies showed up really in gorgeous outfits and they looked so stunning. The games are going well and we saw Jojo and Anne having a sad conversation and she tells Jojo that she had went on to ask Lassie about the allegations. So Jojo wasn't really happy about that because we ended up seeing on that scene, however, we couldn't see the whole scene like always. But Jojo ended up uh, becoming emotional and she seemed not really happy. So, guys, that was it the end of uh, episode 11 of the Royal Houses of Devon. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you really enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. I really appreciate your support. Uh, so guys, thank you. That's it from me. See you on my next upload. Bye.